The city of Beaufort in Gwinnett County takes pride in its historic downtown district, fine restaurants, and top-notch school system. But no one in Beaufort is proud of what happened in the middle of a Doobie Brothers concert last month, a fistfight involving the families of two city commissioners. Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis says the fight is connected to a much larger issue in Beaufort, family connections, right? All comes down to family. It does, Portia. Yeah, these four guys definitely pulled no punches. One got a black eye. Police issued them all tickets and told them to go home, but the emotional bruises clearly have not healed. A record number of people gathered last month in front of the Beaufort Community Center for a free concert by the legendary rock band, the Doobie Brothers. 11,000 music lovers taking it to the street, yet only one fight broke out the entire evening. It was a doozy though, largely because of the two families involved. It was your brother fighting the city commissioner and you fighting the city commissioner's son. Right, who is also a city employee and a department head. A department head. Correct. I'm gonna defend my family and if anybody faults me for that, I don't know what to say to them. The whole sad affair was captured by security camera photos taken outside the community center. That's Commissioner Chris Burge and his son Corey before the fight. Carson Smith is wearing the checkered shirt. His brother Harrison has on a white baseball cap. Their mother also serves on the Beaufort City Commission, Mrs. Michael Smith. Who threw the first punch? Chris Burge did, the commissioner. He hit my brother first. Who threw the second punch? His son hit me next. Did you hit him back? Eventually, when we, it took us a minute to figure out what was going on there. Burge admits pushing one of the Smiths before the fist started flying, but that's all. Y'all need to look at this tape. Mm -hmm. and watch it, frame at a time. The video is silent, and a door blocks our view of how the fight began. The commissioner and Harrison Smith scuffle in one area, while Carson Smith and the commissioner's son, Corey, duke it out on the other side. You can see bystanders grabbing their frightened children to get away. Police could not determine who started the fight. That night, Gwinnett County Police decided to charge all four men with the same crime, misdemeanor disorderly conduct. All four of them got a ticket, authorities hoping that that would end the bitterness. It did not. Commissioner Burge insists he's the victim. He owns an auto repair shop and has represented Buford for 23 years. Not only did I get a black eye, they're getting a black eye. And I apologize for that. I, this is, I love this town. There was already bad blood between the two families long before this night. Burge earlier accused Smith of voting on land deals that could have indirectly helped her son's law practice. She says she got clearance from the city attorney. The Smiths recently endorsed a friend running against Burge's sister-in-law for the school board. But as the Smith family left the concert that night, Carson says Burge started swearing at them and insulting their mother. It looks like Harrison is kind of in his face a little bit. He did because he, you know, he, he used the same foul, nasty language about him in front of the kids and, and called him a few nasty things. The police report said all four men appeared to be under the influence of alcohol. Carson Smith insists he had nothing to drink that night. His brother, one glass of wine. Did alcohol play any role in this, do you think? No. I mean, everybody uh, had some drinks. Did I'm, you say anything no, vulgar about their mother? No, sir. Never. But there's much more being said these days about the city of Buford. The town has only three commissioners, all of whom have served more than 20 years. Burge and Chairman Philip Beard also have several family members working in various city jobs. Sometimes when these elected officials have been in office a long time, they, they develop a sense of entitlement. And that leads up to things happening like this, when anyone challenges them. My people's been here since 1800 and something. We're like seven generations. You're related to everybody. He says his family members work hard, and everyone follows the city's nepotism policy to make sure relatives are not supervising each other. Burge has apologized privately to Mrs. Smith for his role in the fight. But that's not enough for the Smith family. The honorable thing for him to do would be to resign, make a public apology and resign. And that hasn't happened. It's hard. Uh -huh. I thought about quitting months ago. But now that he's asked me to, they had to push me out with a bulldozer. 
Well, all four plan to plead not guilty when the case goes to court next month. You know, they actually got city ordinance violations, the smallest offense possible. Mm. But the Smith brothers, they are upset about that because they feel like the commissioner should have gone to jail that night. All right. So is it possible that the judge could drop all the charges? And how would the Smith family feel about that? It is possible. And the Smith family would not be happy about that. The commissioner says that's fine with him. Just drop the charges for all four of them. Right. The Smiths say no, that they want to take a stand here because they feel the bad behavior will continue mm -hmm. if left unchecked. And by the way, we posted the entire fight video on our website. If you want to look at it a uh, frame at a time, as the commissioner says, it's there for you to do. I guess we'll have to see what the judge ultimately says. Yes, we will. All right, Randy, thank you. Thanks, Randy.